How do you guys feel about these lashes? I don't know. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and today I am going to be reviewing the Clinique Matte Lipsticks. These retail for $16 and I have six of the shades. I don't technically have six of the shades. I really only have two and the rest are my mom's. But she is graciously letting me borrow them to be able to swatch them for you. That way you guys can see what the colors look like. Now, I really, really love this lipstick it is awesome for everyone who does not know I hate lip matte lipsticks <laughs> I they really aren't my cup of tea I don't like them because my lips are very very textured they have a lot of fine lines and most of all they're super drying to my lips and I know that there are some mattes out there like I found a few here and there but typically if I see the word matte I will stay away and I won't like and if I do try it I won't like the product. I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking about the comparisons between these ones and the current uh, I think it's Maybelline that is doing the the new matte collection in drugstores. I have tried those now I don't have them to show you today. <laughs> I've tried three of those colors. I tried the magenta one, the deeper brown bricky color, and then also the uh, second to lightest nude shade, which I actually ended up taking two of them back. I kept the lighter nude shade. However, I can't find it anywhere in my collection. I've looked like everywhere and I have no idea where it went. So I can't swatch it for you to be able to compare. But I can tell you that those are a much moosier product. When I would put them on, it wasn't like it didn't necessarily felt cr feel creamy. It just felt moosey. Because of that moosey texture, it clung on to a lot of my drier, drier patches. I just didn't really like the way that they felt on the lips. It wasn't like horrible, like I would wear it, but it wouldn't be my first choice. Now these ones, I actually do really enjoy the, f the formula of these lipsticks. They're super, super creamy. They stay on really well. I find that they're very long wearing. Um, the colors are all pretty bright. I really love this formula and for a matte lip, I can wear them and I don't feel my lip, like my lips hate me by the end of the day. So that's really nice. I can get about three to four hour wear from this product. Um, and I actually found that it lasted quite well with eating and drinking as well. So really, really great product. Again, these are $16, so they're about double the price of the ones from the drugstore, but I, I really enjoy these, and I think it's definitely a purchase that if you like matte lips, you and especially bright colors, you're going to want to go out and at least try these. Get one if you can. Um, the one I am wearing today is Matte Plum. You guys have seen me wear this before. It is a beautiful plummy color has pinky undertones um so it's not like super unwearable um but i really like it so we'll go ahead and, and get started with the swatches because these are super pigmented i'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of foundation on to get a truer pigmentation Okay, the next one that I have is a lighter shade. It is number 50 Matte Beauty. It looks like kind of a um, peachy pink color. It is, it is right there. It is the lightest of the bunch that I have, but as you can see, it is still pretty full pigmentation. These are so creamy. They smell, they don't really smell, but they do have a, just a faint scent of the actual like lipstick scent. It feels really nice and um, for someone who's looking for a nice pink lip, this, uh, or more neutral pink lip, this might be a good option for you. Keeping on with the pink thing, I, pink thing, pink theme, I am now trying on matte magenta. Um, this is a bright, bright blue-based pink, as you can see there. This is the my very first one that I purchased. It's the perfect bright pink without being too fluorescent that you're like, hmm, 
There are her lips on her face. Just the perfect amount of um, pink. Pink! Oh, they feel so good. I don't even want to take this one off. The next one I'm gonna, <laughs> I haven't tried yet and it's gonna be fun. This is Matte Mandarin. It is an orange. Um, like legit legit orange. So let's go ahead and uh, see how it goes. Ooh, it's very, very smooth. Getting all over the, the place with my lines, girls. It's very orange. I feel like it's pretty wearable. Or oranges typically don't look very good on me. I'm not saying that this is my favorite, but I definitely don't hate it. It's probably my favorite orange lipstick that I've ever tried. So uh, that's nice. It's super, super orange. So if that's what you're looking for, this is going to be a great option. The formula is just so nice on the lips. I absolutely love it. All right, now getting into the more strawberry red colors. This one is called Matte Peony. This is a nice corally pink color. It is more warm than the magenta color um, here. As you can tell, it's a little bit more warm. So I'm excited to try this one. I do love corals, so we'll see how it goes. It's just like butter going on your lips. It's so nice. Okay, this one is definitely a bright coral. It's like a joy to put on. It just feels so good and it feels like, like, oh, it just, it feels so nice. So this color is Matte Peony. And the last one I have is Matte Crimson. This one is a red, very blue based red. So there it is. Well, no, it doesn't look too blue-based. It kind of looks more mid, mid-tone red. Okay. And as you can tell, my mom has used this one. It's definitely great for a classic uh, pinup look if you're looking for something like that. It is a little bit brighter, so if you're looking for a deeper red, this probably isn't going to be the red for you. But as you can tell, it's a really, really nice shade. It's super creamy. I, uh, they're great. <laughs> So that is the conclusion of all of my swatches for all of the Clinique matte lipsticks. Again, they run at $16 and I highly, highly suggest buying at least one of these or going and trying them on in store. They're super, super nice, incredibly pigmented. They feel amazing on the lips. Um, I do find that I like the deeper colors to... Uh, the um, feel of the deeper colors just a tad bit better than the light shade that I have. The packaging is really nice as you can tell it's silver and it just has stripes across the entire pack packaging. It is quite heavy so it does feel pretty high end. Um, I really really enjoy these lipsticks. I definitely think they're worth the price point. I like them better than the Maybelline ones and I also like them actually better than the MAC mattes. The MAC mattes typically tend to dry my lips out very, very badly, and I can't wear any of them. These are super creamy. I don't feel like my lips are hardening at all. I've worn um, my colors multiple times, and I just really enjoy them. So if you're looking for a great matte bold lip, go ahead and check these out. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please like and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I try to upload every like two times a week or so. Let me know what colors you have or what colors were your favorite in the swatch video. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>